Hello everyone and Merry Christmas from Felt Mercantile. This is Heather and we are back for day 25 of our DIY Advent Calendar series. We made it to the end. So today I thought we'd do a nice little easy project. We are going to be needle felting this tiny little Christmas tree and I will show you what materials you'll need because we'll be needle felting. You'll need the foam block, you'll need your fine point needle felting needle, then we will be needing some green wool roving. I will be using some bright yellow wool roving for the star. And then I've just picked a couple different colors to use for little balls on the tree. So let me get set up and I will show you today's project. So we're going to start with our green roving. Uh, just a nice long piece and you're just going to I like to just wrap it around my finger a couple times in one space uh, and then just go so it's wider on the bottom and then just go up a bit to the top <laughs> and you can kind of slide your finger out there and start felting. Remember to keep turning your piece so it doesn't get stuck in your block. As you can see, I've definitely got some pieces stuck in the past. Try not to stab yourself as well. No one wants to stab themselves at Christmas. My aunt once was cutting lemons Christmas Day and sliced her hand and had to go to the hospital. That was a memorable Christmas. <laughs> not in the good way. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. If you're watching this later on in the year, I still hope it's a good day. Just kind of want to keep turning it and felt in so that you're making kind of a dense piece. You can also go in from the end. Again, this is where you may catch your fingers if you're not careful. And we just want to keep turning it and maintain that cone shape. This is a nice, easy little beginner's project. And then you can use these for a Christmas village. The one I'm making is a little bigger than the one I showed you in the intro just because I want you to be able to see what's going on here. But you can really make them any size you want. It just depends on how much roving you want to use. So now that we've got kind of our cone shape going, You can come in from the bottom and just try and make it flat. And you can also turn the, uh, sit it flat on the bottom and go down into the piece. Remember to keep pulling it out or it will get stuck in your board. I always find needle felting quite relaxing when and that's why it's so shocking when you stab yourself in the finger because it brings you out of your quiet contemplation. See I still have pieces here that you can see that haven't really blended very nicely so you can always go at an angle and to just kind of smooth the edges of that. You can always add a bit more roving to the outside as well if you want to hide any little imperfections. Another good idea to pinch with your fingers and give it a couple hard pushes in the middle. And 
and give it a turn. And you can see the shape is starting to come along. I'm just looking for a cone right now. You don't want to push uh, the top down too much or it's going to be rounded. I mean, unless that's the look that you're going for. And of course, you could spend more time needle felting this. I'm just going to show you the basics here in this tutorial and I kind of like mine to look a little rounded and cartoony but the more you felt, mind you, the more dense your piece will be but um, it will also, you can add more detail the more time you spend felting. You can always just kind of shape it with your hands too as you go along. I think it kind of helps to helps with the process so you don't have to do all of the work with your needle. And just do around the base here. Don't forget to keep pulling your piece out. And if you see any that have come out of that circle shape that you're looking for, you can just shove those back in. I'm going to make the top a little pointier here, but I don't want it too pointy because I want to be able to attach the star easily. You can always use different colors of green if you want to give it more of an authentic tree look and just a little bit more depth. I don't know if you saw my tree in the intro but everything's quite bright and cartoony around here for Christmas so looks like it, a candy box exploded onto my tree which I'm totally happy with. I have made all the decorations from all the tutorials and decorated my own tree with them this year so it turned out swimmingly and I will maybe show you at the end what my tree ends up looking like. I've even got the squash in there. <laughs> I put the waffle and the maple syrup too. It just looks so cute and it's a nice little reminder of this last month in the tutorial series that I've been making for you guys. All right, that is kind of the shape that I am going for with our nice, with the flat bottom. So I think I'm going to work on the star next, so I'm just going to put the tree aside for a second. So to work on the star, we'll take our yellow roving. We don't need this much. And an easier way I've found of doing it is to just make the kind of shape that we're going for and felt it down. You can also start by doing a circle too. This is just the way I do it. And then I push in these little corners here. You can turn your block uh, if you don't feel like moving the piece, but it is a good idea to keep flipping so you don't get trapped there. and just keep felting in the corners of the star just to make them more prominent. You can give it a little squish, help to make it a bit more dense. And 
and if you want, you can always push it down with a couple hard pushes, which, uh, which helps make the shape even quicker. And at this point, now that I'm getting a nice dense shape, I will put it in my hands. I'm going to be very careful, but I just push, push between my fingers quite slowly. You can't be doing this like fast or you most definitely would stab yourself. And the ends too, just to bring them in and little bits hanging off. I think it's time to get a new foam block, guys. I have been using this one for quite a while, and it's starting to get a little haggard. You can just carry the pieces over with your needle, too. I know it's just a yellow blob right now, but it's funny how, how quickly it just all comes together. It'll look like nothing, the piece you're working on, and then all of a sudden, you've got a star. Makes it's a little bigger than I'd like it, so I am going to push this all down into the center. Just pulling any loose strands over with your needle. And just keep turning the pieces you're working. Ow, see, there's stab number one. <laughs> I should have a stab counter. Hopefully it's just the one. This is probably the most detailed little bit of this project. See, kind of shaping up, starting to look more like a star and less like a flower. You can always come in from the sides to define each of the points. I also need a new block because it's starting to get so much different colors of felt stuck to it that when I do a lighter piece like this, it kind of picks them up. Which doesn't really affect much for the tutorial purposes, but the artist in me is wishing that it was all just the color that I wanted it to be. You don't have to use these colors either. You can make cute little. I have um, I have a friend who likes everything pink, so I've been making a lot of versions of these projects in the pink. I, as you could tell from the um, the candy cane tutorial I did really early on in the series, uh, that was a pink candy cane for her Christmas decor. But that's the good thing about making it all yourself, is you don't have to check all the stores to see if they've, what's in trend this year, and if they have your aesthetic. My tree kind of looks like it uh, came out of Whoville. <laughs> it's very bright. I have two toddlers and 
Uh, I'm a kid at heart myself, so I really do enjoy the bright look of the tree. But that's the best part about being an adult, is you can decorate any way you like. Well, I'm not the best part of being an adult, but one of them, one of the very good parts. <laughs> All right, our star is getting to kind of where I want it. And then you can also shape it with your fingers. Just go around like that and give each point a squeeze. All right, there's my little star. So to attach him to the tree, just going to hold that on there. And I'm just going to needle felt in the center down into the top of my tree. I just want it on there enough so that it is attached. I don't need it to be ironclad. These actually, these um, needle felted pieces are super dainty. Like, they don't wash well if you need to wash them. Uh, I wouldn't use them as cat toys. Uh, my cat gets a hold of a bit of roving every once in a while and it's just a mess in here. Uh, but and also not a, the best idea for kids toys either because they're so hard to clean they're mostly just for little decor items I was I have a friend that plays D&D &D and I was thinking of making some like different tutorials for um, different like tabletop little, little trees and atmospheric stuff that they can add to their playing experience so that's not really standing the way I like it so I'm just gonna come in and give it a bit more felting on the bottom and well, a bit more on this side There we go. So I'm going to move my felting block right now because I'm just going to work on this piece. But I take tiny little bits of whatever color you want to use and I just roll it with my hands into a little ball. And you can attach these guys right to the tree. If you go in the middle, it'll make your ball a little smaller. If it's not really, if it's too big, you can come in from the sides as well. If it ends up being a weird shape, you can just go around the edges to make it the circle you're looking for. And I like to give it at least one good push in the center just to affix it. You can come in with different colors or do a couple of the same color. I think I will do a few of each. So we'll do another purple. Just a nice easy project. Then I think I will use some of these other colors. You can decorate this any way you'd like. I also have, I have some sparkly yarn I was thinking would be really cute to make a tiny garland for this tree. Uh, you could also use your felting block and make tiny balls. These are just flat circles that we are attaching, but you could make actual balls by tying a knot first. If you need more of a tutorial on how to do balls, if you want to go that route, um, you can look up the, in the DIY Advent series, I made a cranberry sauce, and that's a really good um, tutorial on how to make tiny little felt balls. I do not know what my neighbors are doing upstairs. I'm sorry if you can hear them, but they are certainly not social distancing.
It's not too bad where I live here. I'm on Vancouver Island in Canada, so it's, uh, I don't know, we're kind of separated from the worst of it, which is really nice. I mean, I still don't take my kids out if I don't have to, to public places. Indoor public places. We go for a lot of walks. That is the best part about living in Canada's tropics, is it does not snow really here. Maybe one or two days out of the winter, we might have something. Oh, I think one year it didn't even. It snowed in the morning and then it melted in the afternoon, and that was that was it. So it's always kind of green Christmas here, which is a little strange for me because I grew up in a place, well, on the other side of the country, with a lot of snow. So I miss all of the fun snow activities like snowmobiling and we always went ice fishing on New Year's Day and building forts and making snow angels, all the good stuff. Tubing got many an injury tubing but also amazing memories so that is one half of our tree you can keep going around and doing the other half with the uh, with the little felt balls but I just wanted to show you how to make this so there you have it guys just a nice little fun tutorial for Christmas Day you can finish it up this size or you can make a tinier one once you get a little better at it uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that alert button because we are going back to our regular posting schedule next week. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas, a very happy holiday, and we will see you very soon. Bye.